Hello and welcome to Bounding Into Comics. My name is John Trent and I'm the founder and editor-in-chief at Bounding Into Comics. Today I got a story about Iron Man actor Robert Downey Jr. reportedly being in discussions for a possible recurring Star Wars villain role in the timeline of The Mandalorian. So the initial rumor about Downey being in discussion with Iron Man director John Favreau and Lucasfilm to play a role in The Mandalorian came from scooper Dan Daniel Rickman, as reported by We Got This Covered. Rickman allegedly claims that Downey Jr. and Favreau are in discussions to work on a new project together, and that project more than likely is The Mandalorian. He didn't have any other details aside from that. However, following Rickman's scoop, another rumor, this one from WDW Pro at Pirates and Princesses, claims the discussions with Downey Jr. are indeed for a Star Wars project set during the Mandalorian timeline. WDW Pro refers to this as the Favreau Filoni Star Wars Cinematic Universe. And uh, from what we know, that encompasses the Book of Boba Fett, Ahsoka, and the Rangers of the Republic. WDW Pro believes the discussions are for a significant recurring role and are not of a cameo nature. In fact, he claims they, quote, may involve a long-term contract. As to what character Downey Jr. might be playing, WDW Pro revealed they are still chasing leads, but did indicate that the potential role may be very different than the Iron Man Tony Stark role that RDJ played for so long. He even went on to say that it might involve a serious change in appearance. Given that he might be having a serious change in appearance, WDW Pro did speculate that it could be someone like Grand Admiral Thrawn. He, he wrote, It would not shock us at this point if RDJ takes a role like Grand Admiral Thrawn or some other major piece. And that's pretty much the gist of that rumor regarding Robert Downey Jr. and his discussions with uh, Lucasfilm and specifically Jon Favreau who directed the first Iron Man film that launched the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But what is really interesting is there was another rumor uh, about The Mandalorian, uh, executive producers Dave Filoni and Jon Favreau, and what they're planning to do with this Mandalorian Disney Plus universe. And that rumor came from scooper Mikey Sutton, where he detailed that they're looking to build up a, a, to a possible live action adaptation of Timothy Zahn's Heir to the Empire novel. In that novel, Grand Admiral Thrawn is first introduced as a cunning and formidable foe who has united the scattered Imperial forces and begun to implement his master plan to utterly crush and defeat the Rebel Alliance once and for all, a fate even the Emperor was unable to do. Not only does the novel showcase Thrawn's plans to crush the Rebel Alliance and reclaim the galaxy for the Galactic Empire, but it continues the stories of Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, Han Solo, and Lando Calrissian as they not only get caught up in Thrawn's web, but actively work to thwart him. The book also introduces a number of other fan favorite Star Wars characters like Mara Jade, Jedi Master Joris Seabouth, Imperial Captain Gilad Pelion, Thrawn's personal bodyguard Rook, the smuggler Talon Card, and the fearsome alien species known as the Nogris. So that could be really interesting if that is what they are doing. We do know that Kathleen Kennedy did say that the uh, Mandalorian and its spin-offs would be leading up to a climactic event. If that is indeed the heir of the Empire, that could be interesting. I do want to say that uh, when Sutton was scooping this, he, he noted that it wouldn't be a direct adaptation, and they might just be loosely adapting some of the themes and characters that are in it. Well, uh, I want to know what you think. What do you make of this rumor? What, who do you think Robert Downey Jr. could play? Who do you want him to play, if anyone? And do you think that we're going to get a Heir to the Empire adaptation? My name is John Trent, and you've been watching Bounty in the Comics. I'll have another video for you tomorrow.